Researchers at the Huntsman Cancer Institute have found the key to fighting cancer, amazingly, is with elephants. Yeah, this is incredible here. As new specialist Mike Anderson explains, there is now evidence that a protein found in elephants can actually destroy cancer cells. This is a pediatric bone tumor. Inside a Petri dish, Dr. Joshua Schiffman shows us how a synthetic elephant protein We've made it in the lab, we've introduced it into these cells. actually attacks human cancer cells, as highlighted by the glowing green. It is remarkable. The lab is just so excited. It comes after years of work at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Schiffman says the first time he saw this happening. Oh, it was probably one of the most thrilling experiences I've ever had as my career in medicine. Research studied the blood of elephants from the Barnum and Bailey Circus and one at Hogle Zoo, all with one idea in mind. Elephants almost never get cancer, and we think the reason why is they have extra copies of this cancer-fighting protein. That protein, called P53, is showing some very exciting potential for Schiffman and his team in a battle that is very personal for him. As an oncologist, he treats children with cancer and... When I was 15, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma, a type of childhood cancer. An experience that he says pushed him to do what he does today. I watch those videos of those cells dying every morning when I wake up and every night before I go to bed because this, for us, this is our inspiration. The team here is now working with a lab in Israel to synthesize that protein and then test it here on animals. If all goes as planned, they can start human testing in about three years. And while there's no guarantee that this elephant protein will work in humans. The elephants have had 55 million years of research and development to really design the perfect cancer-fighting protein. Schiffman says he and his team will continue working long hours to give it the best possible chance. We, we say that, that cancer doesn't sleep, and neither should we. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.